It is my job and my duty to my last name to be exceptional. I have respect for my name and my lineage. And to, be, to do anything other than push for absolute exceptionalism would be insulting to him and my grandfather and all of my ancestors, even all the way back to cavemen days who fought saber-toothed tigers just to live long enough to fuck and pump a baby out. And I'm gonna turn up here now, 2,000 years later, and be a fat sack of shit. Ultimately disrespectful. And I, I have respect for the people who brought me on this planet. It is my job to be exceptional, not only for myself, but for everyone who ever created me. If you want to live life and go, oh, I'm average, it's okay, then you're insulting your parents and your grandparents and everyone fucking else. These people went through World War II and polio and smallpox and fucking ice ages to bring your stupid ass alive. And now you want to sit there and be average? You want to sit there and say, I'm sad and play video games? Then you're a fuck up. If, if I ever, it never happens. But if I ever did lack motivation, the first thing I think of is my, my family. You, you, if you're not gonna be proud of who you are, your own last name and your ancestry, then what the fuck is the point of you even being here to eat tacos? What the fuck are you here for? A lot of these guys, they come to me for advice and they, they absolutely lack discipline as individuals. And I think that's because they weren't disciplined as a child. Mm -hmm. That's my view. I've, I've always been disciplined with myself because I've always lived a disciplined life. So even now, if I wake up and I don't want to do something, I don't need someone to tell me to do it because I'll do it anyway. I mean, who wants to run a marathon? Nobody. Who wants to do that? You just do it, don't you? Because because th that's the real world. The real world's going to hit you hard if you make mistakes. And you need to learn that there's, there's boundaries you shouldn't cross. And you need to learn to, you know, cause and effect. I, like, well, why, why would I give a shit about, you know, being strong or having the fight to protect me? The, the reason I care about being strong is so I can not only protect myself, but protect people I care about. The reason I right. want to be rich is not only so I can buy myself stuff, so I can provide for my family. Yeah. But every, every single position of strength comes with a derivative of, of softness underneath it. There's some emotion involved in it. If I, if I was really a person who had no soft side whatsoever, and I didn't give a fuck, I don't think I'd be the way I am. I think I'd be complete opposite. I think there are people like that who are so inherently selfish, but those people are not successful people those are people who sit on the couch all day watch tv smoke weed and do nothing or go and rob grandmas like i don't consider myself an emotionally hard person 